CMHE has come out and projected that Canada will need to build 5.8 million homes by 2030 for real estate to even think about stabilizing price-wise. But why is this? What will the real estate market do if we do that? If we make that goal of building 5.8 million homes? And is Trudeau gonna write the expected $600 billion infrastructure check that we'll need to make this happen? Is he gonna do that? Let's break this down. All right, so this article just came out from BNN Bloomberg, and it's no surprise, everybody knows, real estate in Canada is so dang unaffordable, it's so expensive, and we gotta get prices down if we're gonna have Gen Zs and Millennials buy homes comfortably. But what's the crux of all of this? What's the real reason why real estate prices in Canada are so dang high? And the reality is, the truth is, we have such low supply for the amount of demand, the amount of population, the amount of immigration we're getting to Canada. That's why prices are so through the roof. Now they're gonna try and pass it off as inflation. Uh, what did, 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 did. <laughs> Now the government's gonna try and pass the blame, and oh, it's cause of inflation. But why inflation even happened is cause Ukraine is because the pandemic. Okay, what really happened, dude, is a failure in planning since the 80s, we have such low supply. Like if we look back at data, and some of you watching this might know someone, or you might be old enough to remember, in the 70s, we had a massive construction boom in Canada. It must've been the good times, dude. If you were a framer, a carpenter, a plumber, anybody in the trades, you we're loving the 70s. Work, 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 work. We were building like fucking crazy. Day I'm hustling, every day I'm hustling. But in the 80s, it just kind of dropped off in the 90s, even more in the 2000s, like it's almost flat. Like we ain't building nothing. And right now with interest rates being so high, especially builders are like, I ain't fucking building nothing. The cost of financing is gonna be so high. I'm gonna lose my shirt. I'm just holding that empty piece of land and I ain't doing nothing with it until rates come down. Then you got Tiff McClam and Trudeau, we need to build homes. We're all going in the industry, lower the fucking rates, idiot. So it's a Mexican standoff, boom, 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 boom. Who's gonna break first? Oh, Tiffy boy is gonna break first, we all know that. But until then, nothing ain't getting built, dude. We ain't building nothing. And my point, <laughs> we're trying to make it seem like it's a low supply issue in the current time because of interest rates, like I said, that's true. But it goes way beyond that. We haven't been building for decades, which is such a failure on the government's part, knowing how giant of a generation, the boomer generation, it was huge. That's why it's called the baby boomer generation. The influx of population from giving birth <laughs> was insane. The government should have said, got this giant generation. In the 70s, we're building homes for these people, right? The boomers were entering the workforce in the 80s, late 70s, 80s. Okay, that's why we built all these homes in anticipation for this giant generation. But then we didn't stop to think of, well, these people are gonna have kids and the generation is gonna be the same size, if not bigger, which it is. The millennial generation is the biggest generation we've seen in a long, hundreds of years. The millennial generation is fucking huge. Shut up. And are we building homes for us, my generation? No, we kind of stopped building since the 80s. And now we're at such a severe low supply. And the millennials, me, we all wanna buy homes and there ain't any. So we're fighting and fighting and fighting, bidding wars, bidding wars, prices goes up, prices goes up, bidding wars goes up. That's how prices go up so fast because of low supply. It's economics 101, supply and demand. If you have low supply and massive demand, prices go up. That's how it works. Now Trudeau is gonna try and blame it on other things and other, it's a fundamental issue that goes even beyond Trudeau. As much as we hate Trudeau, and we do. This is a problem five prime ministers ago. We should have been on this a long time ago. So with inflation being high, does it help? No, but why don't we see this problem in the US? In the US, they have high inflation, they have high interest rates. Let's take a look at what's going down in the US. They're having some problems like we do, but not even close to the low inventory levels we have, not even close to the bidding wars that we have. In fact, when we were buying properties in Florida at that peak, February, March of 2022 is when we started buying real estate down there for the long term. That was the height of the market. And I was talking to my realtors down there and they were like, dude, the market is fucking hot here, dude. You gotta buy this property like now or else it's, it's, it's gonna go, dude. It's so hot down here. And I was like, oh really? Great just like Canada, eh? Anyway, so I was looking, looking, we were putting offers in. In that crazy high market, I got offers accepted with 30 days financing, 30 day home inspection condition, 
and at like a four month close. That would never, ever happen in Canada, even in the lowest mark, even now with the market being the worst market we've seen in 40 years, and it really is right now in Canada, we still don't see that 30 day home inspection. What the fuck are you talking about? The average in Canada is a seven day. In the real estate industry, that's average. Seven day home inspection, seven day financing, 30 days. And that was at the height of the real estate market in America. Okay. So why it's so different down there? Number one, they weren't dumb like us. They built a lot more. Why? Their population is 10 times the size of us. Okay, so there's more builders, there's more work, there's more jobs, the cities are bigger, they need to build more, and they did. And we can go deeper into this, which I do, but with taxes being lower, you know, it's easier to run a business. Builders down there are like, this is great. My tax rate is like 10%, I can just go crazy. Over here, it's fucking 50%. No, nobody's incentivized, as I always say on this channel, to be in the real estate industry, to provide housing, to provide rental housing, to build homes. There's no incentive in Canada to do that. In the US, there's been large incentive, write-offs, pay low taxes, lots of money to make, lots of incentives. So builders have been going nuts in the US. It's a more capitalistic society. It's easier to make money. It's easier to run a business, easier to hire and fire people, easier to kick bad tenants out. All I'm saying is there's more incentives to do business in the US and that's why they don't have the problem we have. Second reason why is that they have true 30 year mortgages. Not like here where we get we get 30 year mortgages too, but they renew every five years. Who made that rule up? That's like a criminal rule. I don't know why that's even in place. It's designed for the banks to make money, dude. That's why the banks do that because they make money because they know that interest rates fluctuate. They make way more money on that. If you lock in a low rate at 2% for 30 years, the bank is like, fuck. 2% for 30 years? Now, all right, I guess next. In Canada, TD, Scotiabank, Tiff McClam, they want to make that money, dude. They want us to get 5% interest rates. They love what's going on right now. Okay, you're reading all these articles of uh, the banks might go under in Canada. They're making more money now than they ever have for decades. They're lending out mortgages at 6%, 5%. They're fucking loving what's going on right now. And if you want to go deep into conspiracy land, dude, that's why we have the renewal every five years, I'm sure. That's the true reason why, is to lock people in at higher rates. Because rates do this. Some are going to get that low rate, like we've seen in, in 2020, 2021. But they know, I'm going to get this motherfucker in five years. I'm going to get him up to three, up to four, up to, f I don't know. But it's going to be higher than one, and I'll get him then. That's what the banks are thinking. In the U.S., it's a true Catholic society it's just designed better. So that true 30 year mortgage stabilizes the real estate market a lot more. They're not seeing the price declines in great fluctuations like we are. That real estate market is just chilling on a 30 degree angle over time, straight up. Prices just go straight up. More boring than us, just better. So anyway, the point of this video is, are we gonna see that $600 billion check be written? Fuck no. Trudeau even said himself that housing is not a federal responsibility. Roll the clip, Jabari. And I'll be blunt as well. Housing isn't a primary federal responsibility. Yeah, you just saw it right there. Housing is not a federal responsibility, okay? So he doesn't care. And even if he did, let's say he wrote the check. Can we build 5.8 million homes in Canada by 2030? No, okay? We don't have the infrastructure for it. We don't have the amount of tradesmen for it. The trades are dying off. They're retiring like crazy. We have such a low amount. Of we can't do it. There's no way in humane possible way we could build 5.8 million homes, which means... Real estate is gonna keep going up. It's gonna keep going up. Let's sing the song. Real estate is going up, baby, period. Long term, it's going up. So what should you do? Invest in real estate. If you don't wanna invest in real estate, cool. Own your own home. That's your asset. It's gonna continue to be an asset in Canada for likely decades and decades to come, okay? Real estate has been going up for thousands of years. It ain't gonna go now. What's going on right now is nothing special. It's not gonna break the economy into oblivion and start a new world order. Real estate's gonna keep doing what it has been doing for literally thousands of years. You can either jump on the train or watch it go by. What are you gonna do? I'll see you in the next video.